feel like your brain can't decide between rave or a meltdown? Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle of Chemistry. Glutamate, dopamine, and GABA. Here's how it works. Glutamate is the gas pedal. It shouts, go! Dopamine is the thrill seeker. It chases rewards. And GABA is the brakes, the calm one who keeps these two guys from frying your sanity. When GABA is low and dopamine is high, things get loud. Hey, dopamine, let's build a business, start a podcast, and text our ex. Yes, glutamate, I love it. Let's also paint the living room at 2 a.m. Classic dopamine and glutamate party. High energy, low wisdom, zero chill. But when dopamine is low, glutamate still floors the gas even when the tank is empty. Hey, dopamine, move, fix everything. I'm trying, but it's hard to be motivated with all this anxiety you're giving me. Without GABA, you're left with racing thoughts and no finish line. Glutamate, sweetie, maybe stop overtaxing dopamine. And dopamine, you don't have to go chasing after every idea glutamate gives you. Now you two take a little nap so that you don't exhaust the prefrontal cortex again. And that's GABA, the calm in the storm. When she's strong, the chaos turns into clarity and your brain finally remembers how to rest. That's why trauma survivors feel wired and tired at the same time. It's not character, it's chemistry. Tomorrow, we'll rebuild GABA, your brain's natural calm circuit, and teach your nervous system how to rest without guilt.